you finally saved up some money this year. Here's what you need to know. Let's say you've worked really hard at your job for the past few years, and you've got a lot of money in your drawer or under the mattress, and you want to put that money to work by investing in crypto or stocks. Now, is it better to throw it all in, all at once, or to buy gradually in small increments? By the end of this video, you're gonna know what dollar cost averaging investing is and how to use it to your benefit to make the most money possible in the market. Now guys, wouldn't it be great if we can buy stocks or crypto or other type of investments when the market is low and sell when the market is high? Yes. Unfortunately, efforts to time the market often backfire and investors often end up buying and selling at the wrong time. Now when crypto goes down, people often get fearful and sell. Then they miss out on potential gains. On the flip side, when crypto goes up, people tend to rush in and buy, which is called FOMO, fear of missing out. Just like a lot of you did with Dogecoin back in May of 2021. Now this is where dollar cost averaging comes in handy. Dollar cost averaging, also known as DCA investing, is a type of investing when someone puts a consistent dollar amount into the same investment over time, regardless of price. Now guys, for example, that money that you've been saving up under your pillow, under your bed, in the drawer, we're not gonna all, we're not gonna throw it all into the crypto because that's called lump sum investing. And I'll, I'll mention, I'll, I'll go over that in a different video. But today we're dollar cost averaging. So we're not gonna throw it all in, but we're gonna throw $5 in every single week, regardless of the price consistently. So you guys are probably asking why. Well guys, here's some of the pros to doing this. What it does is it gets you in the market. A lot of people think that in order to invest, you need thousands and thousands of dollars. When really, you can start today with the $5 that you found in the dryer. Another pro, it gets you in a good, disciplined investing habit. They say to create a habit, it takes 21 days. And anything after you miss, you'll feel like something is wrong. Dollar cost averaging guys can also take the emotion out of investing. Instead of trying to time the market, and knowing when to put money in, you don't really care because you're gonna be throwing money in regardless of the price. And it also takes stress and anxiety off the table. Cons. Now dollar cost averaging can be a helpful tool in lowering risk, but it comes at a cost. You're holding on to your cash longer, which has lower risk, but also gives you lower returns. Now if the market explodes, during a time when you're dollar cost averaging, you might miss out on the potential gains that you could have had, had you invested the whole entire watt. Another one is you might have to deal with a lot more exchange fees. As you already know, these exchanges charge a fee or have a spread every time you buy. And they do this so that they could stay in business. But every time you do this, guys, you're losing very small amounts over time. So to determine what's best for you regarding your potential returns, you're gonna have to look at your risk tolerance. Are you a big gambler, a risk taker? All in on red. If that's you, then investing all of your money all in at once might just be for you instead of dabbling little bits at a time. Now, if you're constantly checking your phone, stressed out, and a potential red day can pretty much ruin your day, then dollar cost averaging might be the right investment strategy for you. To be honest, right now, you guys might even be dollar cost averaging and you don't even know it. Some of you who go to work and have a 401k, an IRA, or a CD that comes out of your paycheck, you're consistently investing into companies weekly, and you didn't even know it. <laughs> Thanks, baby. Personally, guys, a DCA investing strategy that I personally use is, right now in crypto, we're in a bear market. Right now we're in a bear market. 
And if you do believe in crypto, then you believe that crypto is going to be the future and you believe that it's going to go up eventually. You believe that 100,000 Bitcoin is in our near future. A $1 million Bitcoin is in the next decade, but still in the future. If that's something that you believe, this is a strategy that you can use for yourselves. So pretty much what I'm doing is I'm dollar cost averaging, but I'm dollar cost averaging at higher amounts than I would normally do. I'm throwing in um, like $1,000 every week into a couple cryptos. And those cryptos that I'm throwing into guys, so there's some I'm looking at, I'm looking at Dogecoin. I've been throwing some into Dogecoin. I've been throwing a uh, 1,000 a week into Ethereum. I've been throwing a 1,000 into Crow. I've been throwing some into Harmony, just threw some into Polygon. You can't go wrong with Avalanche. Um, Shiba Inu, even Shiba Inu, guys. These are cryptos that you can be aggressively dollar cost averaging right now because we're in bear markets. Now, when we get to a bull market, I'm still gonna keep this strategy of dollar cost averaging, but I'm gonna lower it significantly, probably down to like 200 to $300 because the market can drop easily when the markets are high, when the value of the cryptos are high. So it's a lot riskier. This, this kind of will, will, will play with your brain. It's a lot riskier to invest when the cryptos are high opposed to when they're low and everybody's scared to invest. So take that into mind, guys. And that's just my strategy and what I'm doing. But really, I just started dollar cost averaging. I finally saw the benefit of it. Um, sometimes I would put lump sums like 10, 20 grand into projects and they would dump. And I'd be like, man, now I got to wait a year or two for it to come back up. But now, guys, I slowly just put in a little bit because a lot of the times I would be putting in that lump sum and then when the crypto would drop, I wouldn't have any more money to put in. So now I just dollar cost average. And when it does get to a low point, like where Ethereum's at right now, like where Polygon's at right now, or Crow, now I have some money in the bank that I can throw in. So guys, how do you invest? Do you guys dollar cost average or do you lump sum invest? Leave it down in the comments and let me know which is the best strategy. This is a video on dollar cost averaging. I'll be making another video on lump sum investing next to give you guys best of both worlds. So be on the lookout for that. Thank you guys for tuning in. Good luck in the crypto markets. I know they're very volatile, but good luck. We're all in this together. Love you guys. Peace. So I pull up inside my cup and I just sit till I can't feel it Ooh. I know it won't solve my problem but I know it makes a difference